want to ask you about how you developed your protocols. Okay. okay. So, if you ask me how I developed more or less this, this video, I got part of it from one of my elderly colleagues. He died at the age of 93. And he started with embryonic stem cells from sheep and goat in the year 1942 in Austria. And uh, he was very successful, but unfortunately he only could inject it in the knee or in the foot, but he couldn't inject it in the heart, and he couldn't inject it somewhere in the head. I understood people having problems with, with, the, with the stomach, they had problems with the heart as well. I kept treating them with antibiotics. The stomach problems went off, the heart problems went off. Then I heard later on there were two people in Australia, they discovered the bacteria causing uh, stomach cancer. So it's the same with any kind of cancer. It's always due to a combination of bacteria, of viruses, of the prostata, of the stomach, in the head. I had cured several people with cancer in the head. I took it off. And it's my understanding from our conversations that you yourself harvest the live uh, embryonic stem cells from the umbilical cord of a healthy born baby. Is that correct? That's I, correct. And I think you also told me that one umbilical cord uh, contains enough live embryonic stem cells for 40 patients. Yes. Is that correct? So and that if, if I'm putting three together, together. Then yeah. you, you can, I can use and of, it and of course, for, 80, for 80, 90 people. And of course we know that the, the, the birth mother is aware of everything that's happening. In fact, we're going to we're paying the birth mother for her umbilical cord. Otherwise, it would just be discarded anyhow. We understand okay. that. Um, I guess the, the people say, well, wait a minute. If it's an embryonic stem cell, how can it be in the umbilical cord? Are you taking it from the embryo itself? They say, no, no just, from the umbilical cord. Yes, the umbilical cord normally is being thrown away. 90% yes. of the umbilical cord is it's not embryonic, 90% is adult stuff, mm, yes. but we just only take a little bit that it's embryonic, embryonic stuff. For, for the layman out there, and you and I have had many discussions in regard to the types of cells, it's my understanding that the adult stem cell is actually comes from the adipose tissue of the body, from the fat tissue. The stem cells that you harvest from the umbilical cord is what's called a pluripot pluripotent stem cell. It is, it will, it is powerful in all organs and all parts of the body. Is that yes. correct? And it goes, you see, we inject it just correct. only underneath the skin. And what we didn't know right at the beginning, it goes where it is it's needed. needed. So it, during the past, uh, Rudolf uh, Picard I worked with, and he had started in 1942 in Austria during the time of war. And uh, he later on, he worked with uh, embryonic stem cells from abortions. But mm. at least 30 years ago, we stopped doing that. We are only working with human embryonic stem cells from the umbilical cord. There is no ethical reason and there is no problem of developing a tumor.